Today, I'm going to review the Macintosh C49 stereo preamplifier. Before I go into the details of the C49, let me tell you a little bit about Macintosh itself. Macintosh has been producing high-end audio equipment out of Binghamton, New York since 1949. Their products have been used in all kinds of special venues, such as Woodstock in 1969. This is my own personal Macintosh C49. I bought it at Hi-Fi Audio in Düsseldorf about one year ago. I have been a good customer for them for more than 20 years. If you ever have the chance to shop for Hi-Fi equipment in the Düsseldorf area, don't hesitate to stop by at Hi-Fi Audio or visit their website, hifiaudio.de. If you would like to know more about the C49, also go to audioscholars.com and read my blog. This Audio Scholars review is quite simple. It only has two categories, the first one being sight and the second one being sound. And then I'm going to give it an audio score the audio scholars sight and sound score. It's very simple. Let's start. Starting with the sight score and the first subcategory, which is convenience. The C49 is really very simple to use. You can do most of the things with the two main dials at the front plate. The left one being the input selector and the right one being the volume control. The C49 also has a few physical buttons. On the left side, you can define the output, 1 and 2. And on the right side, you can select the tone control, you can mute the device, and you can turn the device on or off. It's very simple. In the middle, you have an LED display that shows you the input, that shows you some details from the DAC, and that shows you your volume. If you would like to use your C49 as a headphone preamplifier, just connect it to the headphone jack right at the front. You can control the features of the C49 with the physical buttons at the front glass. Or you can use the remote control. It's very convenient. Therefore, I'm giving the C49 an 8 out of 10 for convenience. Moving on to looks and styling. In my opinion, the C49 is a beautiful device. It combines the traditional Macintosh values, but it also looks modern, slim and sleek. You can also integrate the C49 perfectly into your Macintosh system because of the metal bars. The last time Macintosh changed the design of those metal bars was about 20 years ago. So let's hope they stick with those for a while. I really like them. I'm going to give the Macintosh C49 a 7 out of 10 for styling. Quality for the C49 is very strong. The knobs feel very well. The button have a very nice tactical touch. The back connections are gold-plated, and the overall build quality is just great. However, the remote control doesn't live up to the standards of the device. Therefore, I'm giving the C49 an 8 out of 10 for overall quality. Moving over to features. The C49 has a lot of features. The DAC is great, and it's also upgradable for the future. The Phono MM and MC section is very good. It has a lot of inputs. No matter if balanced or unbalanced, it has a lot of outputs, unbalanced and balanced. And you can use it in a pass-through configuration for your home theater setup. Overall, it doesn't have an equalizer, it doesn't have room correction in any of these things, but it is very well equipped for a two-channel preamp. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Summing up the side score for the C49, I give it a 29 out of 40, which is a very good score for a two-channel preamp. Now we're getting to the second category, the most important category. It is sound. Starting with the first category, audio excellence and specifications, the C49 does very well. With a total harmonic distortion of 0.005% and a signal to noise ratio of 100 dB in high level and more than 80 dB for the phono input, there's really nothing to complain about. You can really see that Macintosh uses a lot of components from the bigger brother the C53, in the internals of the C49. 
For audio excellence and technical specifications, the C49 earns an 8 out of 10, and it is just short of exotics that have a balanced design and dual chassis. Moving over to detail, this is one of the strongest categories of the C49. Especially focusing on the DAC, the C49 has tremendous detail in the sound. What the C49 does with CDs and SACDs and all digital inputs is just extraordinary. Therefore, it earns an 8 out of 10 for details. Every time I go back to a different preamp after the C49, I miss detail. And only the very, very high quality, very, very expensive preamplifiers give me more in that regard. For imaging, the C49 earns a 7 out of 10. It's not the strongest part of this preamplifier, however, it's by far not a weak spot. I always use Billy Eilers' When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go album to test the imaging capabilities of a preamp. It's all digital, of course, but it is a very wide soundstage and it should surround you uh, in a wall of sound. The Macintosh C49 does that, but there are other preamps that do an even better job. 7 out of 10. Bass performance is very good. The bass is punchy, it's grippy, it's detailed, it's never boomy, it's never too much and never too little. Therefore, it earns a 7 out of 10 for bass performance. But there's one more category. It's called Synergy. You can perform very well in every single category, but still something can be wrong. And also, there are some devices that just excel with the overall enjoyment. Macintosh is known for that, and the C49 is no exception. For sound synergy, the C49 gets an 8 out of 10. The C49 combines the traditional Macintosh sound with the bloom and bliss that we all love. But it also has that speed, that attention to detail, that punchy bass that we all want today. value. And at 5000 US dollars, the C49 is no slouch. However, you can fully integrate it into your home theater. You can use it as the main controller for your stereo setup. Or you can just enjoy the beautiful looks of the C49. The C49 has a wonderful DAC. It has a wonderful phono unit. And it's an overall great performer. So for me, as a two-channel stereo preamplifier, Although at $5,000 US, the C49 earns a 6 out of 10 for value. Add it all up, and the ACSS score for the C49, my own C49, is 73 out of 100, which is a very high score for a preamplifier. The C49 is the first preamplifier on the ACSS score. I hope many more preamplifiers will follow in the future. So please, Share, like, subscribe, go to my website, maybe enjoy my blogs, or just enjoy my videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.